Hello guys, so this is my shadow box that I purchased from Michaels and this is basically what it looks like, you know, all wrapped up, all good to go and these are the sunflowers that I pressed or dried outside for several days and then this is just me showing off the actual shadow box in the back and me just removing it. It was actually a pain in the ass to take them off. I don't know why some of them were like really stuck and hard to remove and kind of hurt me but I'm a big girl got over it <laughs> and I'm just removing them so I can open up the box and get started and these sunflowers are actually the sunflowers that Jeff got for me for Valentine's Day but that's another video I'll show you guys about that <laughs> I rearranged the sunflowers how I wanted to until I was satisfied. I tried going for a heart shape. Let's go. Time to glue the sunflowers to the board. Make sure you preheat the glue gun before use and be careful with the glue gun when in use. My next step was to glue some petals to the sunflower because most of them fell off when I dried the sunflowers before. Once I put the whole board to my liking and everything was glued down, I took the casing of the shadow box and cleaned it up to make sure it was squeaky clean and there were no fingerprints.
Okay, let's put it together in the case. Be patient and really careful with this part. One thing I forgot to mention in the beginning about what to also use, but I'm mentioning it now, is a toothpick. It came in handy. Right now I'm like using it to poke the petals back in because some of them were trying to stick out. But I also used the toothpick earlier to press down some of the petals after I glued it to the board. And I wanted to make sure those petals were sticking down. So I used the toothpick. So I completed the project and here's the final result. So on here I basically wrote out the longitude and latitude of our first date which was at the hangar at Electric Forest. And I wrote down that we were established in 2015 because we technically do not have a date. We celebrate a day and it's the first day of Electric Forest. Regardless if it falls on the same day every year or not, the first day of Electric Forest is our anniversary. And I didn't mean to draw those eights like infinity symbols, but they came out that way, so it was pretty cute. I liked it anyways. That's it. Thank you loves for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Mwah.